Hi guys, right now I'm at Long Run Lessers with my dad, and today I'm gonna do a video where I'm gonna be trying to feed all the animals here. So let's get into that right now. Feeding the ducks at Longhorn Lester's. The hardest thing about the uh, ostriches is how many different kinds of feed I have to mix together. So I'll let you call them out. So first of all, what are these? Oh, mealworms. Yeah, dried mealworms. So just kind of watch. I'm gonna pour through my bucket over there, not a whole lot. And then, you don't have to look. What do you see? What do you see here? What are those like? Do you recognize anything? Uh... Do you know what these are called, these little black tennis seeds? No. Sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. So sunflower seeds are very healthy and nutritious for your, for your ostriches. All right. Okay. And then we'll the bag. The ostrich gonna be coming out. What, what do you recognize in there? Corn. You see corn? Very nice. Now this over here is one you may not recognize. These are alfalfa pellets. Alfalfa is a type of hay, but they can also convert it into a pellet. You need that for their energy. This over here is a different kind of pellet that has all kinds of vitamins and nutrients. And the last thing is gonna freak you out. Okay. Can you read that? Oyster shells? Oyster shells. Now you're probably saying, why in the world do ostriches need oyster Ooh, it shells? it got like a lot of, it, there's a lot of like smoke came out. Uh, it's just dust. Do you know why an ostrich needs oyster shells in their food? No. So they have the kind of stomach that they're not able to break it down the way you, uh, the way a human does. So inside their stomachs, they have to eat little rocks, little stones, hard things that can kind of help break down their food. And so in this case, we give them oyster shells. They're made for that. So all bird species, they have a part of their body called the gizzard. Why do you keep like taking it? So what I'm doing now is I'm mixing everything. Since I poured it in differently, now that I've mixed it, now all those things are mixed together. Oh. You get it? Yeah. So now, what you saw me put in there was some mealworms, some corn, some oh, yeah. sunflower seeds, some oyster shells. They're all mixed together the way I did my buckets back and forth. Mm -hmm. This over here is for our ostriches. Yep. All right. Like An awesome. ostrich needs five pounds of food each per each? day. Between three and five pounds of food each. Now, here's the thing. They get a lot of food from the grass. So they get some pounds from the grass. But all I'm going to do over here is kind of supplement what they don't get from the grass and that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. Now, watch out where you walk. It's waiting for me right on the other side of this door. What do I think waiting for you? They have amazing noses and they know that I've been over here working on their food. So watch this. Oh. Da, 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 da. Don't be scared. I'm gonna oh. walk to them. I'm gonna They're walk huge. to them. Come on, I'm gonna walk to them. Come on over uh, here, Lucy. Okay. I'm gonna pour oh. their food here in the grass. I don't like to feed them in the dirt. So if Hi. You have five birds, I'm gonna divide this bucket five different ways. One, Look at that. You see that? You see two, that you see that little bird? Three. Three, four, four, and five. five. Now they can all five. Now they're going to share. <laughs> they get along with each other very well. They're all going to share for now. Yeah, they look like they're getting an even bit. And then that well, one. look how fast they're eating. So the thing is, once they're done with that pile, they'll move to a different pile. Zoom out a little bit. You're so close. Okay. So you oh, can look, see my better. phone just got a lot more dusty. Yep. Now we put five piles of food out. Now they're gonna slowly start kind of spreading themselves out a little bit. And so these are the five birds that live in the big 10 acre pasture. All right, let's go to the horses and the longhorns. All right, so this time of year, feeding the cows, horses, and goats are easy. Look at the picture right there. What do you see on this one bag of feed? Um, there's a horse. Uh huh. A goat. And? And what is that? A cow. A cow. Which means they can all eat the same kind of feed. So all I have to do is make sure they get enough feed. Now this is a, a, a lot easier than the ostrich one. God, uh, yeah, I know. Look, and that's just, enough right there for the just, cows and the horses. Yeah. All right, follow me. Okay. All right. All right. Now the horses. All right. So I know it's windy and hard to hear, but we try to feed the horses separated from the cows. Uh, they don't really do well with each other, so I feed horses over here and donkey. She thinks she's a pony though, so don't tell her. <laughs> Which one? Uh, that, that one right there, the donkey. She thinks she's a horsey. <laughs> oh. Do not tell her. Her name Her name is Ivy, and she thinks she's a pony. Hey, you little pony. Hi, pony. 
All right, now let's go over here to the cow. So we were just walking, and then Ivy, the pony, just came up to us. I guess she wanted to hang out with me for a little bit, which is cool. Okay, so whenever my dad is feeding any of the animals, you always supposed to pour food in the grass. My dad always does that. He always pours food in the grass because, like, imagine you pour food on this and then they eat it off of there. Like, that'd be nasty. But the grass is a lot better for that. Like, as you can imagine, that's really good. So we feed the goats over here and the goats can also eat off the ground, which is fine, as long as it's not in the... Oh, um, dirt. Dirt. We don't put them in the dirt. And then, uh, goats don't need much food living here. If you look out across the woods, all that green stuff, goats love that. That's Mother Nature has provided them with all the food that they need. Hi, goats. So I will pour a little bit out just in a snack. Okay. Oh, there's Carl. Hey, before I feed the goats, let's go here and meet Carl. Okay. Now, it's easy to see why we keep Carl separated because whereas the other birds are kind of nice to me, he's not very nice. Hi, Carl. As a matter of fact, he's probably going to be very mean. He's going to spit on me. He's going to hit the fence a few times. He does kind of mean stuff to, to Daddy, but I love him anyway. Carl, get down. Look. Look, I got you food. Look, I present you food, Carl. <laughs> I present y'all food. You don't want it? Take a bite. Even Christmas is kind of scared of Carl. Carl, take a bite, Carl. <laughs> Carl. Carl, take a bite of your food. Take a bite of your food, Carl. Fine. Here. Is that, Carl's, girl. is that Carl's girlfriend? That's Debbie, his girlfriend, yes. Okay. And if you walk over here, I'll show you something pretty special. So you know how birds of all species have babies, right? Yep. In what? In eggs. In eggs. Look over on the ground. Oh, there is a little egg. Don't Carl, stop, 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 Carl, stop following me. Stop, far, over here, stop following me, Carl. Oh, he's going to follow you. Uh. He's afraid you might try to steal his egg. So look at the egg right there. Look how big it is. See it? Oh, yeah. Don't get too much of a chance because he may reach over and snatch at you. Oh, that is huge. Come right over here a little bit and now go down low so you can see it. Isn't that huge? Yeah, that's very Carl, big. be sweet. We're looking at the egg. Carl! Oh, chew! Did you see that? Yeah. He kicked at us. Let's walk away from him so he do not end up hurting himself. That's mm -hmm. the one danger of getting too close. If he does kick at you, his feet can get stuck in the wire, which is just what happened. You can hurt yourself that way, Carl. Yeah, Carl. And you know the sad thing about it, if you have an ostrich with one leg, <laughs> they really can't survive like this, the way a human might could. They don't. They can't use crutches, and you can't fix their legs. They could so fall over. If an ostrich you ever never hurts, get back up. Well, yeah. If they ever have an injured leg, most times you don't know what that means. They die. You ha you have to sometimes have a doctor, a vet, come out and put them under uh, because they cannot survive on one leg only. So, it's so not, I don't it's, want to agitate him. I don't want to see him getting mad and kicking the fence and being mean. Because his instinct is to kick the yeah, fence his instinct. in defense. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Remember, the ghosts don't need much. They have all this great stuff from Mother Nature. I yeah. will walk in and give them a little bit. Come inside them if you want. Okay. They're very gentle. Come on. Yeah. The goats are no threat at all. Yeah. I do want to keep the food out of the dirt. So I'll pour a little bit here in the hay. Well, I'll yeah, there's not out. there's not much dirt in here compared to the other places. No. And see how they're not even really eating, Lex? Yeah, they're just kind of following you. Which tell, they're not really hungry, they're just curious. So this is kind of like, have you ever gone to a family event? And even though they're having dinner, you're not even really hungry. You just, you're just, come on, goats, you're making a mess. You're just there to be polite and kind. Yes. So this is kind of like the family event. We're not uh, even oh. hungry. Okay, not those two are though. <laughs> but the thing is, they're not. They're, look, he's not even hungry. He's like, yeah, I'm the king. I'm eating all daddy's food. And they think they're so special. Bobby, you know, we get to the bucket. Yeah, so, none of goats, them are really eating. I'm gonna tell you something, and you're not gonna understand it, but it's true. Of all of the farm animals that I've ever worked with, goats are the most annoying. I love them, but they're so darn annoying. What makes them annoying? They call the stuff just like this. Look, he could eat anywhere. All the piles I put out, and they don't want those, they want to eat out of the bucket. They're, they're just so darn annoying. And uh, like this, there's no food in here, and he's still trying to eat out of it. 
Sleep? Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing left. Look. Oh, yeah. There's nothing. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> and now they, oh. and they and they ram each other just for fun. Yeah. Who wants to be a bucket head? You want to be a bucket head. Oh. Doesn't fit you. Any more bucket heads? Hello, goat. Who wants to be a bucket head? Just oh, those ones are, those, those, that one's coming up to you. Volunteer? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Buckethead. All right, you've had your fun. Who else wants to be a Buckethead? Oh, that one came out to you, too. Who, who wants the Buckethead? Who wants it? You've already been Buckethead uh, three times. Not fair. Stop hogging the bucket. You're hogging the bucket game. Stop it. I need other girls who want to be a Buckethead. Stop it. He wants it four times. There. Your horns are too big. Your horns are too big to his, be a Buckethead. His head. face is the right size, but his horns are too big. Why does this one here want to be a Buckethead so bad? He wants to smell there. the he wants to smell the food stains that you left in there. Oh. Let's see if he just does it on his own. Oh gosh, let's look. Oh, he did. I don't need help to be a bucket head. I can be I can do it myself. All right, well I want to say thank y'all for hanging out with me and Lex while we do our afternoon feed up here at Longhorn Lester's. I am yeah. curious, oh. Lex, in the comments, which animal do you find to be the most entertaining? I'm curious about your answer first of all. The most entertaining? More, most interesting, the ones that you enjoy hanging out with the most. The goats, because of the bucket head thing. Because of bucket head? Yeah. That right there is what you like the most, right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lex. That's funny.